Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. You may want to help someone learn to fly using your Radiomaster TX-12. Um, in the old days we used to have to chuck the box across to each other which was actually quite exciting. I had a few exciting moments teaching people to fly doing that. But luckily now with the computerised radios we, we don't need to do this. We can actually do it in two ways. One with a cable and one with um, wirelessly. But you need to have a, a, an external mod protocol module to plug into your radio which I do not have so um, and I haven't purchased one to do that so I'm going to show you in this video how to use your TX-12 as a, a slave or um, as the master radio for training people where you're using the buddy box system so let's have a look at the radio and I'll show you how this is done I will be setting up both the instructor and the student's radio in the Radio Master TX-12, but for obvious reasons, I'll be using my Radio Master TX-16S as the instructor's radio in my demonstration. We are now going to have a look at the instructor's radio. Now, this would be their normal model. I've copied um, my Cheetah model to be able to do this exercise. So you would then go to the instructor's radio and do these adjustments. So we can hit the model key. And the first thing we need to go to are the special functions. Okay, in here we need to add in Sorry about that. We need to add in a switch. Now I'm going to hold this switch down when the student would be allowed to fly the aeroplane. So I'm going to hold that down and then let go and say enter. We are then going to pick up trainer sticks as our option. Trainer sticks, there we go. And we're going to move across and we're going to activate it. There we go, we've now completed that line. The next thing is we can add a sound in there so that we can we, we know that when we've activated this, when the instructor has activated this option. So we're going to push enter. We're going to hit that switch down again. Push enter. Go back, play track. Play track. And in here, we're going to pick up. I think it would probably be that one. Try not on. Let's try that one. So if I was allowing the student to fly, I would just hold this down and I can immediately let go and I'd have control again. So we're going to go across here and say play once. Sorry, play once. There we go. And that's everything we need to do in here. So this would give the student the control. Trainer on. Okay, we can let go of that now. Now we need to move on to the system menu. Now we need to hit our system button and we're going to go across to the tra trainer window. So let's go across. And there we go. So our channel mapping is AETR. Now I know the channel mapping on my TX16S is not that, it's RETA. So I will show you making that adjustment. If we were using two TX-12s with the same channel mapping, we will be good to go there. So we'll be looking at this in a little while. Uh, but this is where we would need to change the channels to, to match up. And we've also got multipliers there that we can make adjustments if the radio's gimbals don't match up. But we'll go through that in a little while. But let's have a look at the options here. Now you can see if I push enter and then enter here. I've got multiple uh, options here. It can be off, it's plus equals, colon equals, and that's our options. So let me explain those. Off would mean, now this is the instructor's radio. Off would mean that the student does not have control of the ailerons. Plus equal means that both the student and the instructor would have control of that surface of the ailerons. Colon equals means that when I push this button down, only the student will have control of the aeroplane. And that is the options that we have. So I would ordinarily keep it on this one, this option here. Now let's come out of the system menu. 
and we're going to go back into our model menu. Oh, whoops a daisy, pushing the wrong button. Okay, and then we're going to go into the model button and we're going to go across. Now in the setup window, we need to make sure this radio says master stroke jack. So this is the instructor's radio. So that's every, all the adjustments we would need to make on the instructor's radio to the model that they've already set up and this is bound to that model. Now let's look at the Radio Master TX12, it becoming the student's radio. And what we're going to have to do is add a basic model. So we are going to go to model, go down to a blank spot and then say create. Now all we need to do is go basic, basic model settings. So yes, yes, got flaps, no, no air brakes. Um, that will be correct. And then we say, okay, good to go. So we've now created our model. So now let's go over and we're just going to change this and call and make it student just for the video's purposes. There we go. So we've called this student. And we need to scroll down to the bottom and we are going to change master to slave. And that's all you need to do in your TX12 if it is for the student. That's all, all we, we would we'd be required to do. So we can come out and there we go. Now let's demonstrate the trainer mode in action. We've got the TX12 connected to the TX16S and I'm going to hit the model button twice to bring up my channels. So we're going to turn the training mode on. Training mode. So now the student radio has control, but you can see straight away the ailerons aren't working. This is mode one, so there's no ailerons working. The throttle is working and that is in the correct place. The elevator is working correctly. But my, now my rudder is where my, my ailerons are where my rudder is control is. So we need to change this. So we're going to come back out. We need to go into the system menu and go back or page left three times. Now that is because our channel mapping on the TX16S is R-E-T-A. And in this one, it's A-E-T-R. So of course, the A, the rudder and the aileron are, are transposed. So to correct this, because we don't have to re- map this um, radio, we just, oops a daisy, we put enter and we go across, we change this to channel four, enter, go down, enter, click, change, we change this to channel one and we push return. There we go. Now we can go to the multiplier is where we go to correct if there's a massive difference between the radios and you can see there isn't. It's nearly all zeros, but we can cal um, calibrate by holding that button down. There we go. Everything's calibrated roughly to zero, so that is good. So if we come out, we're going to go back into our model, and we're going to bring up our channel channels again so we can see what's going on. Now, this stick now should be the throttle, which is on channel three. That's correct for my channel mapping. The ailerons are on channel one and four. Now, the reason for this is the cheetah model does not have a rudder. So it's using channel one and four for the ailerons. Then we've over here, we've got elevator. And then because we're not using rudder, the rudder isn't working, but we've corrected to make sure everything is working correctly. Now let's demonstrate cutting the student radio off so we can take control as the instructor. So you can see I'm moving the ailerons. As soon as I click the switch back, I get control and I now have control of the aeroplane. What I want to show you now is what happens if the radios lose connection so that the instructor would know there's a problem and would take over controlling the model. If I unplug, Trainer signal lost. this radio picks up that the signal's not coming from the, the TX12 and warns us that we're now, you know, we would have to now take control. Another thing I was interested in testing, which I'll put into this video, is what happens if I accidentally flick this switch, which is my trainer mode when there's no radio connected. I would assume that I still have control, but let's check. Training mode. 
Oh, luckily I do. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.